Hi there, Joka here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm stopping by to share some cards with you that I created with the Spellbinders November Large Die Kit. I will show you first what you get in the, uh, the Large Die Kit. You will have snowflakes like these and then Christmas trees and this border all of which as you can see are stitching dies so you can use them as they are um, as you can see them here or you can do what I did and add some stitching I will start with the Christmas trees and even though I used heavyweight cardstock I felt like I needed to add well I, I layered two um, for each tree because I, I I thought I needed some, I don't know, I, I wanted them to be stronger, especially when you add stitching, I think it's nicer if they are stronger. So I glued two die cuts together and then I will start stitching. I uh, chose four different pink colors and uh, as you see there are four levels of those um, I'm not sure what I should call it, those patterns. And here I will slow down a little bit so that you can see better what I'm doing. Um, I added a little bit of a um, um, double-sided adhesive just so that it uh, holds my end um, in place, so the end of the embroidery floss. And I, I don't know, you will see um, how to stitch this. Honestly, I don't think there's a whole lot of different ways. I think it will be obvious, but also if you have the kit, then you will also get a PDF showing you exactly how to stitch this. Basically, you just go around and always go back in the center spot. So like a sun rays, let's say. So back and forth, it's really very simple. It does take a while, but it is very simple. And really it's very mindless, so you can just do whatever else you want to do, like watching your favorite series or TV or whatever else. So I will use the lightest color of embroidery floss at the top of the trees. And then I will move into darker colors as I go. I don't know if you could tell what it looks like now that I um, brought it closer to the camera. But you will definitely see it in the close-up pictures. Alright, um, I'm just tying knots here. I'm not super careful. I think I'm uh, doing a double knot. But I will anyway add liquid glue to this later when I glue them down. So I don't think it's super important that, you know, that everything is perfect. Okay, so here I'm um, speeding up the process because it's exactly the same for, for all the uh, levels. And so I'm now adding the second, uh, the lightest, second darkest. Hmm, I have to think about this but you know what I mean. So I'm adding another uh, pink color. And um, yeah, for this, uh, there's two patterns. And then the, on the third level, there's th three. And the fourth level, four. Plus there's also the, uh, the uh, sorry, the tree trunk, which I, I'm also going to just stitch in the same color as the last, um, the bottom level. All right, uh, while I'm doing this, what should I talk about? Because there's really not much to say about this process. Um, I don't know, do you guys have the Spellbinders kit? So this is the first time you see what they are. Um, Generally, I, I love them every month. I think this is the first time I had stitching dies. At least I don't remember stitching ever for Spellbinders. So it's a, kind of a fun uh, change for me. 
but every month the dyes are so creative i i really like working with these kits the for the small dye kits i don't have a video this month but they are also very fun um as you see here i am on my last level and i think i probably showed it earlier so the tree trunk is just um also back and forth um stitching and that's also very obvious when you see the pattern because the dye actually leaves an imprint uh, for the pattern so you see where your thread is supposed to go but they are actually they are really nice without the stitching as well but i wanted to try since you know i i do like stitching so i wanted to try this okay so now i'm creating my background um i chose to go with slimline cards and i am cutting some uh, paper strips similar colors to my embroidery thread and i'm going so you see from the bottom um I'm using a wider strip and then they are um, skinnier as I'm going to the top. Now I'm just gluing them down on a heavyweight cardstock. I have not created my um, card base yet. I like to create my card front uh, first. So I will also add um, a white piece of cardstock here because I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two whites I do not like the white of my um, card base there so I add a nicer brighter white which which is the paper actually that I've used for the uh, die cuts and this paper is from Alexandra Renke it's her um, own brand of uh, cardstock I really like it it's it's a bit of a cream color it's beautiful okay so now I'm um, creating my card base and I always do this by um, attaching my card front to a larger um, cardstock and then cut it down so that it's exactly the right size and now um, if you can see there is a star shape at the top of the trees so i am die cutting three gold stars um, this paper the gold paper is from nouveau and it's a, a matte kind of paper i think or satin i'm not sure right now but i think it's matte i really like this paper because uh, the back side of it is proper paper so i can actually uh, add adhesive to it i have some gold where both sides are metallic and i just haven't found any glue that would uh, hold that in place so what i did here is i uh, glued some cardstock on the bottom of the star so that i can um, place the, the gold star back into that spot if that makes any sense but I think you see what I'm doing. Oh, and actually before I did, before I added the gold one, I added uh, a white one first because this is two layers of the tree, if you remember. So I have uh, two layers to add there. So I, just so that they are the same level, if that makes any sense. Okay, so once I'm done with this, I will just glue my trees on to the card front just very simple kind of symmetric way and to do this i will just use liquid glue on the thread because it's useless to add glue to the card stock it will not touch the um, background because there's the um, embroidery floss right so um, that's pretty dimensional um i'm gonna yeah i place that um tool on top just so that it holds it holds the trees in place while i'm gluing the the rest so that they can you know dry and last but not least i will add 
name all dots you know i always think i will add just okay i'll add three and then on this card i'm going yeah so overboard i i just couldn't stop i don't know i felt like the background was too simple too flat i don't know honestly i have no idea if i like it even but i left it i left it that way and to finish it up i will add the sentiment um which is a foiled a gold foiled sentiment i will link that uh, plate below in the description and because i don't remember what it exactly it's called but if you see if you see it's a gold foil okay moving on to the next one or the next card for those i'm using the snowflakes i don't know if you can tell from here the imprints that i was talking about earlier the dye doesn't only cut uh, little pieces but it also leaves some imprints for where the thread is supposed to go and honestly even if you don't add thread it looks really beautiful it's like a lace pattern or maybe now you see it so i'm uh, stitching some white some and some aqua cool colors because i had a totally different idea for my card than i will end up doing so now i'm creating my background um, you probably cannot tell but this cardstock the dark one is a, a very dark hmm, i don't know it's a, it's a green category but like a very dark pool i'm not sure what i should call it um uh, i will so i i started um adding these strips i believe they were a quarter of an inch and i'll add this a darker color and white and yeah that's gonna be my background all all over it's gonna be striped and what i originally wanted um i wanted to add several snowflakes from those three colors that you saw but i wanted them to be all over the card uh, front in a way that they are trimmed off so um this is really hard to explain but i kind of wanted to have a like a lace uh, all over the card so for that i only stitched the middle of the snowflakes because yeah i was planning to trim them off but i didn't like that look in the end so here i decided that i'm just gonna go with the same idea as on my previous card with the three um, um the three die cuts so i decided to add some more stitching now that i don't have to trim off the card this is also very simple there's just one hole in the middle and then you always go back to that one as you um, add those kind of rays and i used on every snowflake i used a different um, color thread four in total so if you look at it um i used the lightest one for the center of my white white snowflake then the second lightest for the um, next color and the third one for the darkest uh, pool color and then uh, when i decided to add these um, extra stitching on the outer side i don't know how to explain this um anyway what i'm doing now for this one um i'm going with the second lightest color on the white snowflake and then the third color on the middle snowflake and the fourth the darkest color on the um darkest snowflake as you can see here and that color the darkest color is actually like the background which you can't really see but i think in the pictures at the end you will be able to tell so i'm doing the exact same thing as before uh, on my christmas tree uh, card and i'm just adding some liquid glue in the middle and 
to finish it off I'm adding a another foiled Christmas sentiment and then this card is done and for my um, last card this is not a slimline card but a standard A2 size which is four and a quarter by five and a half inch uh, size I'm creating my white background um, or card base and this is like a landscape design because the border uh, die is exactly five and a half inches and I didn't want to trim it down so what I did here I die cut the border from four different pinks with the exact same cardstock as before and now I am just adding them, layering them up. As you can see, I didn't even add any uh, stitching to these ones. I'm sure they would look fantastic, but I, I thought they look really beautiful like they are now. So I just added glue at the top so that I have a bit of dimension. It looks like uh, ribbons or lace or I don't even know what. Next, I will add some um, twine at the top. I will wrap it around the card base, I think three times, and then tie a bow. And this is pretty much it. I will only add the sentiment, which you will see in a second is, um, for first I actually just wanted to add one of those foil uh, sentiments, but I didn't like the look, so I, dug out some old dies. Um, I think if I remember correctly it's from a card kit from 2018. I will try to find it on the web page and then link it in the description if I find it. So it says uh, winter wishes. It actually um, is warm winter wishes but I didn't have space for that. So I went with winter wishes and at this point I don't really know what I want to do with it. I just know that I want dimension. So I'm already die cutting it from white card stock, but I also die cut it from um, gold and pink. Um, and then I try because honestly, as, as long as I don't see the um, color, against the, the background. I don't know which one I like most, if I want white on white or if I want to have uh, pink, the same pink as um, the top uh, border or what I actually decided on. I added pink for the second layer and then I offset the first white layer so that I only have like a sliver of the pink peeking through. I'm not sure you can tell from here but um, hopefully now that I bring it closer although I don't think so but um, this is why you see the sentiment itself. I think if it was white on white you couldn't really read it from this angle. Anyway I will just add some liquid glue to this and oh yeah there's one more thing I will do to finish up this card and that is adding my favorite gold uh, spray. This is uh, from Jen Hatfield um, and I've been using it for many years. <laughs> I was so lucky that I found some, some stock somewhere in Manila, I think. I ordered their three last ones. <laughs> Okay, so this was it. I hope you uh, liked the cards that I uh, created today and I could inspire you in some small way. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.